Ladies and gentlemen, Cousin Daryl is here. What's up? Yo. All right, so look. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now, over on my second channel, I reacted to this video, Black Jokes by Skippy Simon. Uh, thought it was hilarious. <laughs> One Cousin Daryl to check this out. Again, man. Shout out to all the good humans. Thanks for all the love and support. Um, hope you're all ready to laugh for those of you who haven't seen it. So we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. I took this Mexican chick's virginity last night. And like, I don't know if you notice about Mexican women, but when you bust them open, candy falls out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen anything like that before, man. Holy crap. Like she made me wear a blindfold, spun me around a couple of times, and like I got a Snickers, man. It really satisfied. A pack of peanuts, creamy nougat. This is awesome. Yeah, I like banging fat chicks. Who's with me guys? <laughs> Anyone? No? Just me. I love banging fat chicks. I'm a big game hunter, dude. I love nailing them. <laughs> I said big game hunter. <laughs> love nailing them, dude. Because they are easy. Like, I drive around. I got this CD full of ice cream truck jingles. And like, oh, man. Those girls come running, man. Like, really slow. But they get there, you know? So, like, they got cash. They got good humor. It works out, so. I want to apologize. I didn't mean to be so damn great. All right. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what? I might as well do it. I got, um, I've been trying for years to be one of the best black comics in Los Angeles, uh, yeah. despite my racial handicap. Um, there are dreams that need to be fulfilled, and that's just one of my dreams, to be one of the best black comics in, in the history of black comedy. So... I gotta practice this. I'm gonna be on BET in a couple weeks, so I'm gonna practice this right now. This is what I like to call black jokes. Be on BET. Are you guys ready for some black jokes? Yeah. All right, black jokes. Here we go. So you heard the old saying: once you go black, you're a single mother. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> you like that? You like that? <laughs> I got more black jokes. You want more black jokes? Yeah. Right. yeah. Hey, why don't black men take care of their children? Because <laughs> you can't put rims on them, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh snap. <laughs> oh, Jiminy. Oh, Jiminy. <laughs> I got more. Yeah, I love banging black chicks. A man, do I hate talking to pimps? You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> Feel my pain. Oh, hey, what man. do you call mulatto duck? Half black. <laughs> I'm black. <laughs> this dude. I went to a black French restaurant called Shay. What? <laughs> oh man. Straight next is home furnishing place for pimps called Bed Bath and Biatch. Yeah. <laughs> oh brother. <laughs> Yeah, I like banging big black women. Like, the bigger the black or the better. That's what I love. The bigger the black or the better. That's my type of lady. Like, I want to bang that bitch on the pancake box. That's what I want. Yeah. I want, like, and vagina. That's what I want, yeah. I'll be all over her bisque quick because I'm a hungry jack. I'm going to treat her like Mrs. Butterworth and screw her head off. It's going to get sticky. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that last stretch right there, yeah, that yeah. got me. That was hilarious. The thing is, like, when, oh. when I was listening to this, and I, I, it might be true, too, because uh, a lot of times people, I remember we went to see Martin Lawrence stand up, but he was uh, there to kind of practice before he went on the big, big stage. Okay. He was at, like, a, you know, a comedy factory type of thing. But when you hear the crowd, like you said, y'all won't, you heard somebody go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like when you hear that and you hear people laughing, like at the end of the day, man, it's comedy. Yeah, yeah. And I just, you know what, listening to it again, I think I just got his joke 
He said Which one? about the big girls with the ice cream truck. He said they got cash, I got good humor. But I don't think he's talking about humor as in laughing. I don't think he's talking about the ice cream brand. Oh, I've never heard of that. There's like a, it's the good humor ice cream brand. Oh. Like you get ice cream sandwiches, the uh, drum drumsticks, all yeah. that. But the brand is good humor. <laughs> I believe. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I had to show you this because you can you can kind of see in his face the nervousness. Yeah. He's like. Uh, I, I got these black like you can tell you know because you want to fill out the crowd that's the whole thing about it being being a comedian because you don't want to get booed off the stage like that right uh right. but you can see him like kind of feeding off the crowd's the energy but man oh, i was yeah. like <laughs> it was a lot of stuff in there and i've heard a lot of black jokes that i had never heard before a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> but all right had to show cousin daryl this um for those of you who've seen this before, thank y'all for watching again. Appreciate y'all. And uh hope y'all stick around because we're coming back for more. All right. So peace out.